Philo Online here, and yes, this week we're going to learn about a Negrit and a man who went up to heaven. Wow! Let's start with Skylar, and it's a bird called the Egret or Egret. Let's watch. Hello, Skylar here, and this time we are going to find out about a bird, the Egret. Generally, these water birds have long legs, long necks, and a long bill with a short tail. However, their looks will change depending on the kind. Classified under herons, there are four different types of egrets, which will determine where they are found. They are very well distributed, ranging from North, Central, and South America, Africa, Australia, Asia, and some parts of Europe. As social birds, it is common to find them in flocks. They will even be found socializing with other water birds. Their diet consists of fish, small snakes, amphibians, insects, and invertebrates. There is a specific kind of egret called the cattle egret, which is more adapted to life on the ground rather than by the water. This specific type will stay close to grazing animals. A grazing animal eats vegetation in a certain way. The type of grazing animal will depend on where the egret is located. In North America, they are usually found around cattle or horses, but in other continents, cattle egrets can follow elephants, camels, zebras, deers, and others. The egret will place itself in dry fields while the animal eats grass. As the animals move and eat, they disturb the insects on the land. The egret takes advantage of this and eats those insects. This is why you can see these birds close to those animals. The cattle egret will also be called differently depending on which animal they are associated with. For example, they can also be called elephant bird, the rhinoceros egret, or the hippopotamus egret. Did you know that Jesus is always close to you? Do you know that Jesus is always willing to help you? Did you know that Jesus promised to never leave you? Just like the egret is close to grazing animals, Jesus is always close to you. He is there when you are happy. He is there when you are sad. He is there when you are eating. He is certainly there when you are struggling. In the Bible, Jesus says, And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Until the very end, Jesus is there. So when you are facing situations, you can remember that Jesus is with you. Did you see? The egret stays close by to another animal, and when he tramples, he can have food, and they help each other. Isn't that awesome? Well, the same way we have God and Jesus. And yes, they are with us, and Jesus promised. It says here, and surely I am with you always to the very end of the ages. That means we're never alone. And when it's hard, we have a hard time, well, we remember we're not alone. Are you ready? Let's watch the Bible story about Jesus going to heaven. Do you know the story of the man who went to heaven and left a powerful gift for his friends? Yes, Jesus. Forty days after Jesus rose from the dead, it was time for him to go back to his father in heaven. He and his disciples climbed up the Mount of Olives. Jesus told them to go to Jerusalem and wait for the Holy Spirit to come and give them power. Then they were to tell others everywhere all they had seen him do. And while his friends were standing there on top of a hill, Jesus went straight up into heaven in a cloud. The disciples were surprised and stood looking up into the sky. <laughs> they had seen Jesus go up into heaven with their very own eyes. Then two angels appeared and said, One day Jesus will come back again exactly the same way you have seen him go up to heaven. The disciples went straight back to Jerusalem to wait for the Holy Spirit to come. Then they began to tell people everywhere the good news about Jesus. The Bible tells us that one day Jesus will come back and his kingdom will be on this earth. I believe in Jesus too. 
If you want to know more about this true story, you can find it in your Bible, in the book of Acts. It tells us what happened to Jesus after God raised him from the dead. Bye-bye. Well, well, well. Yes, the disciples were walking up a hill, the Mount of Olives, and then Jesus talks with them, and then he goes up. And a cloud just, he disappears in a cloud. <laughs> and then what do they do? They're looking up to see, but God sends someone, angels, to tell them, well, the same Jesus that is going up to heaven will come back. Yes, that is why I want to rejoice. And I remember Jesus said before he went up to heaven, I'm surely I am with you always to the very end of ages. And that's in Matthew. So whatever we do, whatever we, we are in, if we're, it's hard times or good times, we remember these, that Jesus promised to be with us. And not only that, when he went up to heaven, he sat at the right hand of our Heavenly Father. And yes, He sent the Holy Spirit. He is with us also. Oh, so whenever you're going through hard times, remember, you're not alone. Are you ready for the mission of the week? Let's watch together. Here is your mission. As a family, you are going to talk about your reaction to when you're going to meet Jesus for the first time. How do you think you're going to react? And talk about it with your family and then STP, stop, think, and pray because we want to thank God for we will see Jesus and God one day. Have a great mission. Oh, well, that is an easy one. All you have to do is remember, not remember, but try to think of what you, how you will react when you see Jesus for the first time and talk about it with your parents or your grandparents. What will you do when you see Jesus for the first time? Hmm. And also remember to stop, think, and pray and thank God, our Heavenly Father, that we are going to see Jesus in God one day. I want to celebrate and sing about it. So this is Filu Online saying Shalom. <laughs>